Bohemian Boxer reporting live and direct, so with all due respect, cut my check. I'm here with Alex Popeye Cerna from Queens, New York, Jackson Heights. Popeye is the epitome of the Renaissance man. He's a professional fighter, a matchmaker, a coach, a father, just all around good guy from Queens, New York. I'm here at Mendez Boxing Gym, and I pull up and uh, I see Popeye here. So, um, Popeye, what brings you in the I building? I just want to say thank you for the interview. You're very welcome. Um, Mendez Boxing Gym, right now I'm on uh, training. Uh, I want to say thank you to Mendez for opening the doors. And it's been a, a ple uh, you know, it's been an honor working here. We're around a lot of up and coming uh, amateurs going into the pro. And Mendez has a good name for boxing because they have a lot of old school heads that teach old school boxing. So it's just yeah. a great experience in okay. here. Okay, uh, Popeye. For those who don't know, um, tell them the roles and the mini hats that you wear in this um, luxury sport that we call boxing. Uh, so basically, uh, at the moment, I'm a professional boxer. I'm still active. My last fight was in September. Matchmaking, uh, a little bit of coaching with the matchmaking. So I just try to get more involved with the professionals and, you know, just who, you know, looking for the next world champion. Okay. How about you made reference to uh, your last fight in September, um, which was an electrifying fight for those who weren't in the building. Um, Tell us a little bit about that fight, and um, and will we see a rematch? Because we want to see a rematch, but we got to make that happen with the other half, of course. Yeah, no, the fight was a phenomenal fight. Uh, it was a fight of the night. It was about, uh, so it was a four-rounder with five knockdowns. It was back-to-back -back firework. I mean, the people was on, on their feet. It was great. It was great feedback. Um, you know, um, unfortunately, I took a loss on the last round. Great body shot. He broke my ribs on the first round, so I had to adjust to the pain. And um, but no excuses. Um, I would like the rematch, but you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, boxing has become more of a business than a sport. That it has. So um, let's expound know, on that. Right. So I mean, basically, you know, it's not really about the best fighting the best. You know, no more. It's not like back in the '80s or in the '70s. Where it was mandatory for you to fight the best. Now it's like more well pick and choose who's better at the moment, at the right time, yeah. trying to you know make their up and coming fighters more more relaxed and more comfortable in that professional field. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, you know once again um, the rematch will be great. You know everybody is talking about it, but like I said, it's a business aspect, and maybe as a business decision is not good on their half because. They were looking more for uh, an opponent, or 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 maybe as we say, a, 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 a build, you know, an easy win. Yeah. You know, and um. They didn't get that. And then they, they didn't get, get that, that at all. They got they got <laughs> fouled. They got a war. Yeah. And you know, I'm always humble. You know, he was a great fighter. He overcame that knockdown on the third round. And you know, he he at that moment he had that fire going on. And you know. But I would like the rematch, you know, and we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, you know, my, my time is very limited. I'm, I'm already 34 years old. I have to be realistic. So for me right now, it's just to stop taking uh, fights at the last minute, you know. Understood. And, you know, it's a learning experience for myself and also an example for other people, for other up-and-coming fighters like the people in the ring. You know, once you hit that stage of professionalism, it's a different game because it's not like your schedule to fight is a professional so a phone call away yeah, yeah. so they'll you got to be ready slip, right they got yeah. you got to be ready and they'll catch you slipping when you're not ready and then they'll offer you more money to, yeah, take to that entice fight. you right yeah so and, and then if you got bills and right, and now, a family provide and you, you're going to be enticed exactly. to take it if you're not a fighter that signed with any promoter then you know you have your responsibilities are hard to take care of mm -hmm. you know because now i have to get a job train and take care of the family so it's not like a fighter that just have a promoter all he has to his job is to train mm -hmm. so yes it's a different feel but you know no excuses you know that's the plate i was you know handle and i just have to eat off of that right now and his name the fighter's name is pablo Valdez. he's uh from santo domingo he's two and oh with two knockouts and you know my hats off goes to the guy you know he's a I, 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 very good fighter. You know, yeah, real good fighter. Very hungry, and um, you know, respect to him. You know, outside the ring, 
you know, he's a very humble guy. He sees me, he greets me, shows me love. He, he lets me know, he asks me, are you okay? How's the family? So it's not just a, a person that I just fought. He became a friend outside of that, but at the end of the day, we gotta be realistic. This is a, this is a boss, this is a business, this is a sport. And, you know, right now, you know, I would like the rematch. We're trying to push forward. He's supposed to fight in June. Um, you know, hopefully right at the moment, I'm not, you know, I could get ready for June. I got ready in two weeks, which people didn't think I was going to drop him two times. Yeah. Imagine what I could do in two months. Yeah. So, and I think that's what more of the concern on their team, that I'm more of a dangerous guy with a two-month training camp than a two-week training camp. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Wish him the best in June, and hopefully we could look at a rematch after June or in June. You know, whatever comes, I'll take. Okay. And shout outs to Diablito, my man Bo right here. Thank you for the interview. Uh, USA Boxing, all the amateurs keep working, guys. Menendez Boxing Club. We're right here on 26th Street, correct? 26th. Yeah. Avenue. Pull up, check out the gym, um, come see Popeye. Coach Elliot Ness is here. There's a few different coaches, excellent fighters. They're working hard. They're striving.